Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me today for this week's Pick a Card Tarot Reading. And it is for the week commencing 5th of July 2021. Okay, it will be Sunday evening if you're uh, in a, a radically different time zone to me. Uh, for example, the U.S., Okay, so it's really very simple. Just pick a number now between 1 and 5 and I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation for you. Stick around till the end uh, and I'll do a psychic channeling, whatever comes through. Okay, do you have your number now? Okay, I've got mine. Let's go to the board and see what the cards have to say. Okay, so we're doing card number 1. Card number 1, I like to have a little vision before I turn the card over. Make sure all my ducks are in a row and my T's are crossed. Okay. Alrighty. So what do I see? I see castle. I'm at the castle wall. And I'm on the outside of the castle. I've got this sense of I'm supposed to be inside the castle. Like I've been um, cast out or I've been ostracized or something like that. So if you are feeling isolated and alone... Please know that a deep level, at a deep level you are not alone. We are all connected. It could be that being ostracized from a group or uh, feeling rejected or uh, having some situation where people have turned their back on you, it works in your favor in the long term because you can build your own castle and become who you really are without their limitations, their restrictions, their rules and regulations or, you know, just the pettiness of their thoughts. Uh, you don't need that, okay? And I've been in this situation and sometimes, uh, you know, I know from personal experience when it's family, it hurts even more. Uh, however, there is a silver lining here and I suggest uh, that you focus on that. I see a boat going down a river and it's very calm and peaceful now. And this is, this is an improvement. The card that comes up uh, is the Knight of Swords. All right, so it is about going out on your own. Uh, you'll see the Knight is seated on... The wings of an eagle and so an eagle is all about freedom and uh, liberation and because it's swords it's about changing your thoughts so it might be that uh, you know you were sort of in a set um, a mindset a particular mindset because you were associating with those people now you can broaden your horizons you can meet uh, opposition you can expand uh, you can become more skillful uh, and more of who you really are. The sky is the limit for you now. Uh, draw your sword of truth. That is your ability to analyze a situation. That's the truth when you can analyze it and get right to the core of what happened. Okay, and then you will learn uh, for the future not to repeat those patterns. Card number two card number two closing my eyes now and what do I see I see I do see the knight of swords but uh, he has a ladder to the right of him and that knight of swords energy that is like encouraging you to rise up rise up if you've picked card number two confront the situation and there's different ways that you can do that. Uh, it just means basically you change your mindset and uh, you have that desire to expand and to uh, unrestrict yourself. This is the two of wands, okay? You see this stone wall here that has kept you in a certain box. You don't need to be in that box uh, anymore uh, because you can... You can step out of uh, any sort of restrictions. Uh, power is coming to you and also uh, some action has to be taken. See, because she's taken, she's wearing red here and she's got these baseball bats. So she has to take some action, burn some sage, do some self-healing to step out of those restrictions. But it is exciting. Sometimes with this card, you might be feeling a bit anxious or unsure 
uh, but you can't stay in the comfort zone of the past. This is about leaving your comfort zone, okay? Card number three. Card number three. It's okay to do that sometimes in your life. It was a bit like when I started um, Absolute Soul Secrets. I was very uncertain, uh, but I kept having these dreams with um, Michael the Archangel writing the name on my forehead in white, uh, white letters in light and uh, you know these dreams went on for months and months I used to drive my cr husband crazy uh, every morning I'd say I had that dream again uh, and uh, it took me about four months to figure out what the dream meant and uh, if you pick card number three the two of pentacles there's some good news coming perhaps about your money money is on your mind uh, how you spend it how you get it, uh, what do you do to improve your financial situation. Uh, but um, there's harmony and peace with it. It shouldn't be nerve-wracking. It's like little sort of filaments of growth through your life. So slow and steady wins the race. You're just at the start of something new regarding your money, but it is on your mind. Uh, and so two new ways of how you can make more, more money or be more careful with your money uh, and sometimes it can be something simple like you walk past a shop and they're having a sale of something that you need not necessarily uh, something that you you know want but something that is um, really appropriate and practical for you all right card number four now card number four Growth and opportunity there too, by the way. Card number four, closing my eyes. What do I see? I've got the green in my face again. I'm, green is my theme today, as you, if you may have noticed. Uh, okay, growth and opportunity. Expansion. Okay, card number four. Let me focus on that. Okay, I see a flight of stairs, but it's like it's in the sky and there's a lot of clouds so sometimes with clouds there is confusion these are white fluffy sorts of clouds they're not storm clouds or anything like that but they still can block the way of the steps like the view of the steps so uh, i just keep walking up the steps regardless of the clouds whether i get you know a lot going on in my mind clouds of confusion or not don't think about it too much just keep doing what you're doing and you're going to get somewhere the card that comes up is the Eight of Cups. Okay, this is often to do about uh, to do with uh, power and money as well, but it's more about how you feel about these things. Uh, and there could have been some sort of emotional situation, and you're retreating and going in another direction now. Green brings growth, and it's good for money. Uh, so maybe there's been an emotional time recently about power or about money, maybe with some arguments or something like that. You'll see the moon in the background here and it's just beginning its waxing stage. So we've just had the dark or the new moon and that indicates a new cycle will begin soon. We're not quite there yet because it's an eight. Uh, but then you have the nine which is the end of the cycle so there's something there in the background uh, that is changing but this is like a retreat from the, uh, an, an emotional situation and moving on with your own life and what you want to do you'll see the water here is quite calm even though it is quite dark when it's dark it just means uncertainty or you're not sure okay but keep doing what you're doing you're getting there all right, card number five. Five is alive. Let's see what comes up for this week if you pick card number five. Okay, closing my eyes now. I've got white birds in front of me. They sort of look like seagulls, but they're not as um, rambunctious as seagulls. Our seagulls down here in Australia are out of control. They will come and steal your chips if you're having fish and chips down at the beach, they'll be down there flogging your chips. Uh, these white birds are more peaceful. They're not doves either. So they're somewhere between the personality of a dove and a seagull. Okay, so still quite bold, but not as rambunctious. 
this spring's white is about spirit it's also about um, uh, being peaceful harmonious and a bird looks at the big picture I'm now seeing it's like Mount Fuji in uh, Japan uh, snow-capped peaks so uh, also the focus is on the white so there's some sort of challenge here uh, and it's a spiritual challenge and you it's like you're looking at it thinking maybe how can I achieve this how can I do this and you can do this because strength will be given to you from spirit when you need it you'll see here the infinity sign above her mind above her head uh, so this indicates that she is an immortal being as we all are we live forever and the lion is not eating her the lion is protecting her okay so spirit will protect you and give you the strength you need to carry on to do what you must do if you've picked card number five okay so only one major there so you know basically not not a really sort of um big week a more peaceful week but a week where you look at your money and uh, you look at a situation to free yourself this week perhaps from alrighty so now I'm just going to close my eyes and see what I can see for everybody in this week commencing 5th of July 2021 what do I see okay I'm in a it's like a fort it's got uh, wooden walls and I'm on top of the I think it's called a rampart at the top of the wall and it's like a fort and coming down there's some ladders and I'm actually climbing down from the fort maybe perhaps in the recent past there's been situations where you've had to be a bit self-protective or isolate yourself a bit in some way now it's safe uh, to let your guard down perhaps this week you can relax a bit more this week you don't have to be on guard you don't have to watch what you say uh, what's this thing in my hand like this oh they're like prayer prayer beads uh, and so like going like this like praying to spirit uh, asking for support the angels are there call on michael the archangel in particular uh, and uh, you know we have this view that that Michael the Archangel is you know all about warfare and fighting the battles in heaven but decades ago he told me that he is a healing angel so you can also call on him for healing and you, you'll get a confirmation if you want one ask for this as well a confirmation you'll see this particular shade of bright blue uh, if you start seeing uh, blues uh, from the royal blue right through to a sort of more moderate tone of blue you'll know that Michael the Archangel is around and that can be a confirmation for you seeing that color uh, to just let you know that Michael the Archangel is looking out for you but uh, by all means if you sort of resonate with other angels you can also of course always uh, talk to them and ask for help okay I'm right out in spirit there the sun it's like the sun is exploding or something like that and so that means there's a big ray of brightness and warmth coming stability and comfort okay it's like this explosion in spirit that's sort of going out 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 and this huge expansion is coming it can be an expansion to your business it can be also uh, personally your mind can expand uh, I've got a woman here with dark hair she's she's got um, a wreath of flowers with fruit uh, there's apples and bananas a bit sort of calm and Miranda-ish uh, and she's here on my left the feminine sign uh, brings uh, bounty and abundance okay so you might focus this week on abundance okay because uh, there is an expansion coming so uh, now is the time to get in at the bottom floor uh, so you can ride this wave of abundance that's about to be showered upon the earth okay you've just got to tune into it 
Alrighty, so that's it everyone. Hope it's a bit useful for you. Do let me know in the comments. If you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell right now. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, most importantly, have a, have a great week and uh, leave a like, share on your socials. That would be fabulous. I'd appreciate that too. Okay, I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.